Hey everyone, this is Chris, uh, back with another Lord of the Rings video this week. Uh, trying out a two hero secrecy deck, something that I haven't done in a while. Uh, we're going to focus on Glorfindel and Aragorn uh, so that I can use Tale of Tenubiel in maybe the least thematically appropriate way, uh, but actually in a pretty effective way given the high willpower of Glorfindel. Uh, I'm going up against Journey Along the Anduin because nice familiar quest that I can do. Uh, and there's a few effects in this quest that this deck is not particularly well prepared for. Uh, I don't have cancellation. I don't have a lot of healing because we're going to use Strider. Uh, but let's just see how it goes. Uh, also, I'm going to use some uh, physical tokens today going to be a little different from the dice. And I was going to use this very nice Cardboard of the Rings swag uh, threat tracker. And then I realized that it is pretty much impossible for anyone to read this on the video. I'm just going to put that off to the side and stick with the die, which hopefully at least is somewhat legible. Although given the, the light coming in from the side, that could be better. I already did my initial setup. I have my heroes and my opening hand. Um, as you can see, we got a little surge happy in the beginning, uh, but we shouldn't have to deal with any of those enemies for a while. Uh, and I'm okay with this hand, so let's roll with it. Two resources, one card for... The... All right, well, now everything is great. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna Darren's runes, draw myself two cards. I will discard this extra Asphaloth, because uh, I have two in my hand. I don't really need a second one. And we're going to start pretty straightforward with Strider and Light of Valinor. <laughs> I kept a hand with Asphaloth and Light of Valinor because just having those two things is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but now I am very set for a little while. Uh, so let's commit to the quest. I have currently, uh, what is this, seven willpower? And I will use two Elrond's councils to drop my threat down to 11, as well as bringing my willpower up to nine. Four. Necromancer's Reach does absolutely nothing. So that is a quick five progress onto the river. I will choose to optionally engage these Eastern Crows just to get them out of the staging area. It's not absolutely necessary, but honestly, I feel like I might as well. So Aragorn will defend. Shadow effect is nothing. And Glorfindel shuffles the Crows back into the deck. And if this were a leaner encounter set, or I were a little more set up, I don't think I would have bothered. Uh, but considering how many cards are still left in this deck, uh, just that one additional threat every round could make a difference pretty soon. Especially if we get some of the nasty locations. <laughs> All right, tick up to a whopping 12 threats. Generate some resources at the beginning of round two. Draw a card. I'm just going to save for Asphaloth and Arwen. All right, so I'll send seven to the quest. Up against three. Up against four is three progress. One, two, three. Uh, and I have no choice but to travel to the East Bite. So I am very glad that we have Asphaloth coming soon. Can't deal with either of these enemies, so I will not. Re refresh ticks me up to 13. Draws a card. The third copy of Asphaloth. So here's two for Asphaloth. And like I said, two for Arwen. Now our willpower is quite good, uh, and we get a bonus Sentinel Defense with 
Aragorn. So, uh, committing to the quest, that is now nine. Massing at night. I honestly should just remove Massing at night from this encounter set uh, because it's a very silly card. Remove four progress. Well, okay. Down to four. Uh, and my nine up against three is six. I might as well use Asphaloth to make two of them, allowing me to put two on the main quest. I mean, really, I think the, the biggest danger before I get set up with this deck uh, playing against Journey along the Anduin is the dreaded uh, double Goblin Sniper. For a long time, I will probably have no way of getting them down. But let's just hope that does not happen. Uh, I'm going to spend one for uh, Lemboss on Aragorn. Uh, this is basically the only healing I have available to me. Should allow me to take the uh, Hill Troll without too much trouble, although I would rather use an ally for that. Once again, sending nine to the quest, up against three, up against eight. I mean, I might as well just asphalt off the brown lands and make a whole bunch of progress. Nine against three is six more, but I think we will not need that many. I have this Tale of Tenuviel. Uh, which means that Aragorn could defend for six and then attack for six. But that doesn't do me any good up against Chieftain Uftok. So we're just moving on. The uh, allies that I have in this deck, since I'm trying to keep it to precisely five characters or less. Oh, here's one of them. Uh, Treebeard, Arwen, and Hobbit Gandalf. Uh, Hobbit Gandalf should give us a lot of stats, and Aragorn's ability helps to manage the threat. And I, of course, cannot afford to play Treebeard right now. So we'll just go to questing, send nine once again. Up against six would be three progress. I'll just keep that in case we get another progress remover. Uh, use Asphaloth to put two on Gladden Fields. And <laughs> move on to the next round. I just don't want the threat from Gladden Fields, even though it's probably irrelevant. All right, well, now I have a second Tale of Tenuviel in my hand. So we should be set on taking advantage of Treebeard in the future, uh, help us clear out Chieftain Uftak or the Hill Troll. So, questing for nine, once again. Evil Storm is probably never gonna do anything to this deck. Asphaloth allows me to clear Gladden Fields, adding it to my victory display over here. Um, and I don't actually care about tracking onto the river anymore. Can't use Chieftain Uftak. Can't kill Chieftain Uftak. So we continue stalling. Uh, okay. I did include some of the new cards in this deck that I normally would not, uh, like this Woodman's Clearing, which you can't use right now because there's no location to attach it to. Uh, but just that extra zero cost threat reduction is great, especially since Asphaloth makes it so easy to pop locations. Trigger should have a resource on him this round. I'm going to... I'm going to quest for nine. Up against three yet again. All right, another evil storm does absolutely nothing. Now I guess the question is, is it better for me to deal with the Hill Troll now or Chieftain Uftak now? 
I will have, I will only have access to 10 attack with these two. Hmm. Now let's, let's bring Chieftain Uftak down. I'd like to get Gandalf before I deal with the troll. Chieftain Uftak gets a shadow card. Aragorn is going to defend. And we're going to use immediately Tale of Tsnuviel to buff him up and ready him. Makes him now uh, six attack, six defense with the Arwen boost. Up against Chieftain Uftak's three attack. Remove a progress token from the current quest. Well, I'm not going to track that because we don't need it. And that was basically nothing. So here's 10 swinging back. York. Refresh takes me up to 18 threat. We are finally above our starting threat. All right, extra tree beard I do not need. Uh, we spend one for an entangling nets. It's probably going to catch something dumb, but it is really nice when it gets an enemy that you can just ignore. So I'm going to send... Let me think about this a little bit. So if, uh, if I send these two to the quest, seven will power is plenty. And use Tale of Tenuvial with Arwen makes Aragorn five defense, five attack. That gives me five, eight, twelve attack. We kill the hill troll. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So send these two to the quest for seven, up against one. All right. Well, this is annoying, but this is sort of the perfect enemy to have caught in a trap, but two damage on uh, Orfindel? I'll have to give him a Lemboss and figure out the best way to deal with that. But yeah, that is fine. I'm going to optionally engage this hill troll, and I am forced to engage the Dog Elder Orcs. One, one. Well, let's deal with the hill troll first because there's a possibility that I might want to take dog elder orcs undefended. So, like I said, Aragorn is going to defend the hill troll attack, spend one for the thematically appropriate tale of Tenuvial, exhausting Arwen to ready Aragorn. Uh, her buff goes on him, so now he is at five defense versus this six attack. Um, I think even if we get a nasty shadow effect that this will not kill him. Attacking enemy gets plus one. So Aragorn is also going to take two points of damage. Oop. And at this point, I will exhaust Aragorn to defend the Dogleder Orcs who are attacking for zero. That's the, the shadow card that I really was hoping not to see on the hill troll, so close call there. Uh, all right, despair, zero attack versus zero defense. <laughs> Nothing happens. Uh, and I can use this Lemboss to ready Aragorn and remove this two damage so that I can do three, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Adds the hill troll to the growing victory display. Uh, and since we're about to hit stage two, and I'm pretty much guaranteed to only have to deal with one enemy every round, let me ready Treebeard and have him kill these orcs. So, not bad. Refreshing ticks me up to 19 threat. Still got another round in the secrecy zone. Draw a card. Darren's runes is nice. Uh, oh, and I completely forgot to advance to, to the river, but thankfully it doesn't really do much when it blips. So, 2B. 
Uh, I'm going to play this Darren's Runes for sure. Draw myself two cards. Uh, discard extra Asphaloth. Uh, I am more likely to lose Treebeard than I am to lose the attachment. And if I lose that combat potential, it is significantly worse for the deck. All right, so let me pay two for a Ranger Spike. I'm going to send nine to the quest again uh, and use the third Elrond's Council to draw my threat down to 16 and make it 10. We are revealing two cards, so the odds of me hitting an enemy here are pretty high. When revealed, uh, that just surges. So card number one, thanks to the Anduin. A good one to see. Card number two is a second hill troll. All right, that seems okay. I'm gonna use Asphaloth to put two progress on this banks to the Anduin. I'm not gonna travel there because I want, uh, oh, right, I forgot. Uh, against one threat, I make nine progress. You'll have to trust me as nine because I'm stacking these up and you can't see that, but yes. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to travel to Banks of the Anduin so that I can use this Woodman's Clearing for threat reduction and use Asphaloth as a sort of built-in shadow cancel, uh, probably for that Hill Troll. Although I'm not really ready for that Hill Troll at all, so I guess we'll deal with that when we get there. Uh, so yeah, let's refresh. Taking it back up to 17 threat. Drawing a card. Well, Strider is useless. Generating these resources. So now Treebeard is in good shape again. Uh, if I have Treebeard defend against the Hill Troll, that gets me 610 attack. Is not optimal, but could be something we do. All right, so I'm gonna Woodman's Clearing on Banks the Anduin. I'm going to send nine to the quest, uh, and I will give that boost to Treebeard so that if we have to defend against something, I can put the damage on him as a replaceable ally rather than on Aragorn. All right, card number one, Misty Mountain Goblins. Card number two, Pursued by Shadow. I will raise my threat by one. So my nine up against three is six additional progress. Uh, that brings me up to 15 out of 16. So for better or for worse, we're moving on next round. I will engage these Misty Mountain Goblins because I have no choice. Uh, Treebeard defends with his four defense. I am forced to remove a progress, unfortunately. I'm just gonna bring back that stack of four I just replaced. Uh, and one of the other heroes can kill these goblins. I guess both of them, it has one defense. I also might pop the banks of the Anduin in order to reduce the ambush or moving into stage three, which I think is actually a pretty smart idea. So let's, let's leave it there for now. I can obviously keep cycling it if I want, uh, but I'm probably going to advance this round. I don't want to deal with that yet. Draw a card. Hey, there's a good one. Out of my resource tokens, so here's now four on Glorfindel, two on Aragorn, three on Treebeard. Uh, I can use these five for a Gandalf, which now means that combat is almost solved. Yeah, almost. So uh, committing to the quest, I will send nine once again. Uh, put the defense boost on Treebeard, same reason as before. Revealing one Eastern Crows, which surges into a Marsh Adder. Oh, this is going to be fun. Card number two, 
Treacherous Fog. Uh, all right, plus one threat. Oh, I forgot. I should have sent Gandalf to the quest because he doesn't need to exhaust to do that. So 13 up against two, three, six is plenty of progress. Uh, so before we resolve, I will use Asphaloth to pop this bank to the Anduin. I will lose the shadow card benefit, but it reduces the ambush significantly and drops my threat back to 16. And that means 13 up against four is nine additional progress, way more than necessary. So let's hit that ambush. All right, two more encounter cards. One, Banks of the Anduin. Two, Dogalder Beastmaster. I am very okay with this. Uh, possibly aside from the fact that I can only engage one enemy per round. Why don't you Marsh Adder right now just to get the biggest threat out of the way? It's completely irrelevant at this point, but uh, yeah, I'll engage this Marsh Adder. Deal it a Shadow card. Uh, Treebeard will defend with his four defense. And I'll raise my threat by one from the Marsh Adder. Brownlands is nothing. No damage on Treebeard. Uh, and eight to kill the Marsh Adder is 10. Those guys add a third enemy to the victory display. Refresh, I tick all the way up to a whopping 20 threat. Draw myself a Hard. Generate a few resources. One. Swap some of these off of Treebeard. It should be a four. My hand is totally useless, but that's fine. Uh, so there's what one, two, three, four. I literally just have to send this Gandalf to the quest, uh, or Arwen and anyone. Put the defense boost on Treebeard. Make some progress that I don't want to track. Uh, let's engage this Dog Alder Beastmaster, who gets two shadow cards. Treebeard can defend. Shadow cards are nothing and plus one. Treebeard takes no damage. I have 10 attack again to deal with the Beastmaster. Uh, and I might as well put two progress on Banks of the Anduin so that I can faint the troll in the future. Refresh is going to take me all the way up to 23. <laughs> There's a chance that it actually is more effective for me to completely ignore questing just to raise my threat above 30 and get to engage both of these enemies at once. Um, but that's a little too... Munchkin for my taste, so we'll won't bother. Orphandel is at three resources. Aragorn two, Treebeard five. Quit to the quest, buffing Treebeard yet again. Uh, and now I am going to pop this banks of the Anduin. Putting it back on top of the encounter deck. So that I can engage the Hill Troll, dealing it that Banks of the Anduin Shadow card. The Treebeard can defend for a whopping two points of damage. Bump. Bump. Uh, and I do need to ready Treebeard in order to kill the Hill Troll. But once again, 3, 6, 10, 14 is more than enough. So thanks to the Anduin goes away, so does Ranger Spikes. Hill Troll in the growing victory display. Move up to 26, uh, and I'm gonna use Aragorn's ability right now, just for fun to bring myself back down to 17 threat. Refresh, draw a card. Nice. One and two and three resources. Spend one of them for a Lembas on 
Glorfindel, uh, which I can just immediately pop to heal this damage. Gotta, gotta get that score. Uh, and at this point, there's, there's really nothing that could possibly stop this from happening. Do the questing, make some meaningless progress. Engage the Eastern Crows. Freebeard defends. Oh, Goblin Sniper finally makes an appearance. And just Gandalf is enough to kill the crows. And we have a completely clear staging area. Have basically all the board that this deck is ever intended to build up. And we are exactly at my starting threat. <laughs> the big bunch of enemies in the victory display. Uh, what is that? 3, 4, 4 is 11, 14, 18. I have more victory points than threat. So yeah, I don't think this deck is going to uh, stomp all over any difficult quests, but honestly, it's a lot of fun just to manage this kind of like elite force of powerful allies, uh, especially knowing that your threat is so low that you fight enemies when you choose, not the other way around. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this week. Thanks for watching.